what is biological anthropology? What is biological anthropology? Okay, it is the study of the human animal. That's how I like to say it. We can go with the study of the biological side of human beings and this kind of thing, but let's just go with the study of the human animal. So biological anthropology is the most sciency of the four fields of anthropology because you get a science credit for this, right? The number one reason my students take biological anthropology, I like to think it's because they're just interested in the human past. But it's not, is it? No. They just want the science credit. But that's cool. That's what you get, right, with biological anthropology because you are looking at the biology of the human person, right? Biological anthropology is also called physical anthropology. Physical anthropology is the older term. I actually don't, don't like it as much. I like the newer term much better because I do think it, it makes more sense. So biological anthropology, right? The biological study of human beings. Now this, this study is broken up into really three things. There's three big things that you'll study if you take a biological anthropology class. First, you'll study evolution. Everything about evolution is what bioanthro goes over, all the bits and pieces, right? Talk about Darwin and even the scientists who came before Darwin and how Darwin figured out the idea of evolution. There's even more to it than that, actually. When we look at evolution, we'll look at kind of what I like to call the pie chart of evolution, the three parts of that. Darwin comes up with natural selection, which is the key component to evolution, but it's not the whole thing. Then we're gonna have Gregor Mendel and his pea pods to deal with heredity. And then finally, Watson and Crick with DNA, right? And those, it's those three big issues that we wrap together uh, when we talk about evolution in its most basic sense. So that's the first six weeks of any bioanthro class. You're gonna go over evolution and all those bits and pieces. I would say it's classically the hardest third of the class. So really, if you can make it through the first six weeks, the rest, pretty much gravy, my friends. Uh, part two is the primates. So after you deal with the very kind of heavy science of evolution, you have a little fun with the primates. Monkeys, man. Who doesn't like monkeys? Everyone likes monkeys. And then you go over the different types of monkeys, the very simplest ones called prosimians, all the way to the most complex ones, the apes, right? And of course, we're gonna talk about how these primates relate to us. Are we a primate? Totally, yes. We are a great ape. So we'll talk about our closest living relatives, the other apes and monkeys in the world. Finally, part three is the human fossil record. So this is the time when you talk about Homo heidelbergensis and Homo erectus and Australopithecus africanus and all these kind of names, right? It is the human fossil record a survey of the human past from very early on, six million years, seven million years ago, all the way up to current day. What makes us us, right? Tracing that from the earliest times. You'll hear of fossils like Artipithecus ramidus or Auroran tungenensis, and moving all the way forward up to modern day Homo sapiens. And we kind of trace, oh, hey, when did people who will become people originally make fire. Oh, hey, when did they first learn how to talk? Oh, hey, when did they first learn how to make stone tools? This kind of thing. And that's the last third of the class. So when you take a class in biological anthropology, you're really taking a class in evolution, in primates, and in the human fossil record. So what do you do with all that stuff if you're studying biological anthropology? Well, ultimately, one of the jobs that goes with this gig is some people turn it into forensic anthropology. 
if you've heard the term forensic anthropology or forensics, this kind of thing, right? Really figuring out how the bullet went through the body, that kind of thing. Biological anthropology is a jumping off point to that really interesting line of work. So welcome one, welcome all. That's what biological anthropology is. 